Hello there guys, um, today I've got a tutorial for you I promised you I think yesterday or the day before and uh, this tutorial is about a trigger bar so if you don't know what that is um, I'm going to show you that in a second so just bear with me for a minute and you'll see it in action straight away um, uh, basically this is um, it's like a mini aimbot you could think of it like that It's I'll explain the logic in a minute as well um, but it helps you shoot and it's just basically one of the other hacks and I wanted to to cover this is a very simple one this is a color detecting uh, trigger bar which is the easiest kind you can do so I mean I want to cover all kinds so I want to cover the easy ones the more the intermediate ones and then the difficult ones which will involve using uh, memory addresses and game structs uh, which will be later on at some point because I know I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to those kinds of ones but I want to cover the easy ones for people that are starting out first so bear with me on that um, you're going to need a couple of things for this tutorial, but I'll mention those in a minute as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of clips I recorded earlier today. Um, so you can have a look, if you haven't seen it before, and see what kind of uh, trigger bot it's like. So here you go. Okay, so first thing you see here is the, um, the sniper in action. So what the trigger bot does is it detects en enemy colors throughout the, um, the middle of the crosshair. So as you'll see here, I'm not clicking, I'm not doing any left clicks on the game, it's, the whole thing is being done by the trigger bot. So I didn't click, so as you can see, look at that. So it aims at the enemy, and then it just shoots when it finds the pixels that we're looking for. See that there? Here's another example with the sniper. So certain weapons work better than others. Sniper isn't one of the best ones, but it doesn't work bad with it. So as you can see there, it took three guys quite quickly. You hover over them, it shoots. Very simple. So here with this one. Look at that. Uh, the G3 detecting pixels, just shooting straight away. It's almost like a semi, uh, an automatic weapon, and it works really well. So look at this one here. Look at that. Took four guys out without a problem. Look at this. This is an assault rifle. Uh, sorry, it's a submachine gun, which works also quite well with it. Um, it's not the best, but it still works all right. So detects and shoots. Okay, then guys. So. Um now that you've seen it, I'm going to go over the couple of things that you're going to need for this tutorial. So, um, here you can see a couple of, um, let's have a look. So, uh, there's files required, obviously, so you're going to need a couple of things. Now, uh, this tutorial, you can use this for actually almost any game. Uh, certain games will have specific things to, um, they won't let you use this. So, um, but most games you should be able to use this in, as long as you can get some cams yourself. So. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the COD4 cams that I did with you guys on the DirectX uh, tutorial a while back. So I'm going to give you the link to those and anything you need. I mean, if you like, you can go back and do the DirectX cams tutorial yourself. But that that's not one of my favorite tutorials, so I wouldn't really recommend you do that. Do that, it's not bad, but it's not one of my best tutorials. So if you like, just take my menu from this one and so on. So you can use this for any game. For example, if you want to do this for CSS, that's fine. But some of the stuff you will have to do yourself. Um, so what I'm providing you is a uh, PZ bot, um, and the reason why I chose COD4 is because it's it's got a nice environment for us to test the hack and so on, and we'd have to go online and test it, and it's, it becomes difficult for me to do that when I'm making the tutorial for you guys. So um, it's got the bots that we can use, which are quite good themselves. Uh, it's got the cams that I did for you guys a while back with the menu. Um, but like I said, you can use this in any game. So. Um, and yeah, I'll explain some of the advantages of this hack as we go through compared to the other hack. It's got a lot more disadvantages, but it's it's also quite good in certain things. So make sure you have some cams if you're using this for another game, right? Get some games, for example, if you're using CSS, put some cams on on your Counter Strike guys because you're going to need them. Um, and get your game ready. Uh, if you're using this for COD 4, or if you haven't downloaded COD 4 like I asked you guys to do a couple of times, uh, then uh, I recommend you try and get that. Um, if you're really a beginner, I really recommend that you go with COD4. So um, I really can't stress that enough. So, um, but I'm sure most of you guys should be able to follow this. If you haven't got any uh, programming knowledge, you should also be alright. Uh, but I definitely recommend you have COD4 because I'm going to take you through every bit of the code and I'm going to try and explain as much as I can as I'm doing it. So it might be a, a bit of a long. Well, it won't be a long. Hopefully, it won't be any more than half an hour. Okay. So um, requirements. No, no, no. God, four. Uh, I've got some notes on the side here guys just so I can speed up the whole um, tutorial process so I may read those every now and then just to um, to know exactly what to do so yeah um, a couple of the things you're gonna need for this are so I'm just gonna set them up here 
yeah so you're gonna need uh, obviously the files required folder that I've put up for you it should be in the description so just download that please I usually host it on Mediafire but they're not as reliable so I don't know if I'll host it there probably just download it please um, obviously COD 4 or any other game where you'll have cams in uh, I can't guarantee it'll work for every game but it should work for most games um, if you're using COD 4 you need the yeah you need the cams and the auto inject so there, there should be a file here that we're going to use uh, to inject throughout and most likely of things this will give you a warning with your um, this is my um, injector but this will be used to inject our cams into the game um, it might give you a warning on your firewall so if you are really worried about it and you don't I mean I've never given my subscribers a reason to be worried about any of my files but if you are worried and you don't trust me which I understand then uh, go online and get an injector yourself uh, just look for DLL injector and you should find something either way uh, if you want to use mine use mine that's fine well not mine but whoever's auto inject is um, and it works fine I've used it many times it's got nothing wrong with it it's just because it's injecting memory into um, injecting into memory then uh, it's normal for antiviruses to flag it up because um, it can do a lot of bad things even though we're not going to do any of those um, yeah so let's start off by installing PEZ bot so for those of you that aren't using COD4 this doesn't really apply to you but um, just keep going and it will be back to normal stuff in a second so um, you should have any files required for it, you should have a folder called PEZ bot and um, just copy this folder uh, and this is only so we've got bots so we'll go file location or we'll go through C program files whatever mine's an actual valid Call of Duty copy but you can use any pirated one um, but uh, well it's really up to you so you should have a mods folder and then here just copy into here so you should have the PZ bot folder exactly that one just copy directly into here I've already got it so I've got to copy it again and that's all you have to do for that and then once you've copied it you should have the mod installed in your game and then you see this file here open it I'm just going to move it over here um, and then you can right click on your shortcut properties and uh, see if I can I can't maximize this this is rubbish um, yeah so all you have to do here is um, you see it will be your normal address for the game you see where these end the quotes just go there uh, and copy put a space in just one little space and then copy all this inside the quotes into there and all this will do is it will start the game automatically on the bots mode and that's much better and after the tutorial if you like you can take it off that's up to you but um, to make sure everything is working alright do that please uh, so we can start on bot straight away, it'll save us all time and that's just how it is um, and then the cams as well, I mean throughout the, the thing we're just gonna go double click this and then start and then run our, our hack so our hack is external, we're not actually using injecting memory so for games that use texture cams, so you just copy and overwrite um, or, um, character models then you've got absolutely no chance of getting caught or banned in any game so games like uh, Modern Warfare 3 I think I've got some cams for that that don't actually inject into memory so if you're using DirectX cams then you're always at the risk of getting banned but um, see that, that's one of the advantages of this hack compared to the more difficult one is that you can't really get caught on this one because it's a color rainbow uh, color rainbow what did I say there okay so um, uh, and the last thing I'm going to show you is how to run Call of Duty 4 windowed so uh, all you have to do is go into the file location again uh, you should have I think it's players profiles and mine's Fleep here because I created this a while back and go on config mp dot config um, and oh, edit with notepad plus plus or notepad it should work fine and then I just got it I got it right here uh, so you want to look for the actual words full screen yeah, so as you can see here, you want to change this to a zero. Make sure it's a zero so you run your game on full screen. And the reason why we're doing that, and make sure you save afterwards. The reason why we're doing that is uh, because, uh, why is it? Um, yeah, so we can get into the game in and out easy without having to do any fancy crap. Uh, I, also, I haven't got the hack to work without um, being on windowed mode. That, that was a little problem there, which... I haven't spent too much time trying to fix but I, I may do at some point but I've read that you can't actually because we're taking a screenshot of the screen well it doesn't really matter I'll explain to you as we do it but make sure you do it in windowed mode and if you like afterwards you can try and find a solution for it um okay so copy and paste as it was yeah so what we're gonna do is well, we're just gonna get on with with the uh, hack now so we're gonna start a visual studio so go open visual studio 
uh, or Dev C++, it should work as well, but I don't know anything about Dev C++, so I can't help you with that. So we're going to file, new, project, eventually we'll get there. So I'm going to do uh, Visual C++ empty project. You guys can do um, Win32 project, it doesn't really matter, just follow what I'm doing, please. Uh, so we're going to call this um, Triggerbot, I'm going to call it Triggerbot Tutorial. Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna okay that. That should be okay. Uh, yep, yeah, so there you go, it's created. So we're gonna go to Solution Explorer now and we're gonna add the things that we actually need. So um, click down there. So we're gonna add a source file, which will be our main program. So it's, we're gonna call it trigger um, bot, uh, dot C++. So click the C++ there, add that in. I'm just gonna add these quickly. Uh, and then add this, um, what's the other one called, it's called, yeah, don't worry about the other one, we'll do that one in a minute. So what I'm going to take you through quickly now is the logic of the um, the trigger bot. Uh, just so you get an idea of how it works, especially for those of you who would um, know, not the programming background, so um, hopefully you'll understand this uh, with this explanation. So the way the trigger bot works, right, a basic trigger bot, because that's the one we're doing right now, um, we may... Um, make some changes at the end but you'll see that then and I'll explain it then so the way that trigger bot works is as you can see this here the black four black lines are our crosshair so let's think about that as our game so we've got that and the way it works is we use a function in C++ which grabs a pixel on the screen so we say um, start here and draw pretty much a square um, well it's not a square we just say scan from here and start keep scanning keep scanning keep scanning when it gets to the end keep scanning keep scanning keep scanning and just keep going down until you scan every every uh, pixel on that area okay so if for example you're walking around and you cross their hovers over an enemy we grab that pixel okay if we're looking for the red color for example well let's say we got some green cams on, we want to shoot when it's green, we pick that up, we check if the color is green, if it is, we shoot, it's that simple. Um, when it gets to the end, it just repeats again, so it just gets to here and starts scanning again. So here, as you can see in this example, uh, these are the pixels that have already been scanned, so obviously this one will be scanned, then this one, and then so on, it will just keep scanning all of them. Um, Color comparison on every pixel, yep. So as you can see here, this is the scan area, but this is think, think of this as just an imaginary thing because there is no such a thing. Uh, we don't like draw a square and say, just scan all, all over the place. We say, uh, start here and scan until you get here and then just get down to that part. And those are just four loops that we're gonna use. So if you don't understand about programming, that won't make sense to you, but you, you'll hopefully understand some of it when we do start coding it. Okay, so this is the very basic logic of an aimbot. Now, problems with this are, um, I'll get into more detail as we're doing it, but uh, certain problems that can come up with this are, um, for example, if um, if your game, if your character, your enemy, for example, goes into a dark area of the game and you're looking for red, and it won't be red because it will be a really dark red and it won't pick it up. Uh, that's one of the problems right there. Um, there are quite a few problems. This system is actually quite slow, but that at the end of it, we will optimize it to make it a bit faster. Not as fast as it possibly can be, but a fair amount fast so that you can actually play the game as you've seen me play on the examples at the beginning. Okay, so, yeah, I think that's it. That's just the basic of the trigger bot right there. I don't think I've missed anything out. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll explain this as we go along, and I'm sure you'll understand all of it as we do it. So. Back to Visual Studio. I'm just going to check my notes quickly. Okay, so we've added triggerbot.c++ to our project. We're going to add scancontents.h now. And this is just that you'll understand this as we do it. Um, so scan contents. Uh, just say dot .h, don't worry about that. So there you go. So that's fine. So triggerbot.c++ is where we're going to have our main program pretty much. Um, okay, so I'm going to just do that. Okay, so sometimes I'll take a quick break um, just to check my videos are being recorded because uh, if I record a lot of minutes and uh, well, it's not actually recording, then I will get quite annoyed with this <clears throat> and my voice will probably die as it usually does after a while. So, so what we're going to